Hello students. Today we are going to study very interesting topic sources of data collection. So the first question that arises here is what is data collection? So basically data collection is a process of gathering information for a predetermined purpose. Basically to study any economic problem we need data. Indian economy collects data of population through census which is conducted after every 10 years. Now coming to two main sources of data collection in this topic we are going to study about primary and secondary data. What is primary data? Primary data is the first hand data collected directly from the source whereas Secondary data is second-hand data collected indirectly from some other source. For example, if you are directly interviewing a person to collect certain information, then that is primary data. But if you are referring some other source such as books, magazine or any other printed media in order to collect the data, then it is secondary source because it has already been collected by somebody else. Now, we are going to study methods of collecting primary data. The first and foremost method of collection of primary data is direct personal interview. In direct personal interview, there is a face-to-face -face conversation between the person collecting the information and informant. Since there is a face-to-face -face conversation, the data collected through personal interview is accurate and reliable. Response of the respondent can be easily judged and questions can be easily edited. But since it involves face-to-face -face communication, it is a time-consuming and costly method. Another method of collecting primary data is indirect oral investigation. In this method, data is collected from somebody else about someone else. That is, if respondent for whom which we need data is either reluctant or not in a condition to respond, then a third party is approached to collect the relevant data. For example, if a patient met with an accident is in hospital and is not in a position to respond, then either somebody who was with the person at the time of accident or some other eyewitness can be used to collect the information. This method is time and cost effective but here reliability cannot be judged since a third party is involved in order to give the information. However, in some situations only this method can be used. Third, very easy time and cost effective method, telephonic interview. A large area in a very short span can be covered in order to collect data through telephonic interview. However, response of the respondent can't be judged if telephonic interview is used as it can be done in the case of direct personal interview. However, if we wish to save time and cost and data is to be collected from a far off place, then it is a very appropriate method. The next method of collection of data is information through correspondent. A correspondent is a local agent who is appointed to collect the information. This method is very time and cost effective when the area of investigation is large or information is to be acquired from a far off area. However, this method can give misleading results and is not advocated when a high degree of accuracy is required. However, it is an economical method through which regular and continuous information can be gathered from a far off area. 
Next method is questionnaire method. This method is further divided into two parts, mailed questionnaire and questionnaire filled by the enumerator. In the case of mailed questionnaire, questionnaire is sent via mail that is post or email. Whereas in the case of questionnaire filled in by the enumerator, specialized persons are appointed to collect the information. Now, mail questionnaire is easy, time and cost effective and a large area can be covered. But problem of non-response is very high in the case of mailed questionnaire as respondent don't send back the filled questionnaires. As compared to mail questionnaire, questionnaire filled by the enumerator is more time consuming and costly. But large area cannot be covered though it solves the problem of non-response but in order to get the reliable information the enumerator needs to be properly trained so we have studied basically five methods of collection of primary data now coming to the second source that is secondary source of data collection Secondary source of data collection are basically divided into published and unpublished sources. Coming to published sources, we have books and magazines, newspapers and reports which are published. Coming to unpublished sources of secondary data, we can have internal records of organizations, personal notes or research work. Though secondary data is easy to collect, but we need to be careful while extracting information from the secondary source. Now, an example to compare primary and secondary method of data collection. As you can see, there are two pictures given here. In first picture, an interview is being conducted and in the second in picture, that published interview is being read. Now, the process of collecting information by conducting the interview is primary data collection. Whereas, the published interview in the magazine is secondary source. Now, if we compare primary source with secondary source, we can see that primary data is more accurate and reliable as it is collected for a definite purpose whereas secondary source of data is not as reliable as primary source. It's very time consuming and costly to collect data through primary source. However, through secondary source we can easily save time and cost. Primary data is collected strictly according to the objective of study, whereas in the case of secondary sources, we need to make the changes. However, both primary as well as secondary sources have their own importance and we need to consider the situation under study in order to use the appropriate source. That's it. For primary and secondary sources of data collection, thank you. Have a nice day.